direct attempts by the government to silence you? Uh, 1997. I think you mean. Uh, I'm sorry, 2006. 2006. Yeah, 2000, 2006, I believe. Uh, I gave a I gave a speech in December of 2005 at uh, the American Geophysical Union meeting in which I tried to uh, connect the dots, and the dots extend all the way to um, the role of special interests in uh, in confusing the public, you know, in not allowing. Uh, a straight scientific uh, discussion of what's happening and what's causing it. Uh, and of course the main uh, problem is fossil fuel use. And the truth is we cannot put all of the fossil fuel, the carbon dioxide from all the fossil fuels back into the atmosphere without creating a completely different planet. The last time uh, that carbon dioxide was in the atmosphere there was no ice on the planet. It was a completely different planet. And we have to realize we either are going to have to leave a lot of the fossil fuels in the ground or else we're going to have to capture the carbon dioxide when the fossil fuels are burned. And that just is not well understood. And the fossil fuel companies would rather that you didn't understand that. Who are those special interests, those fossil fuel companies that you're well, talking about? How do they stop the conversation? Uh, well, it's the coal industry and it's also the oil industry. And they you know they put out uh, disinformation they they fund a number a small number of scientists and they, and they expect the media to give you a balanced story and by balanced they mean that the 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 scientists are saying that something's happening have to be balanced by someone say oh this is just natural you know and even though the story has become very clear you know it's 99.99 percent certain that humans are influencing the climate uh, but still they make the story appear much less certain than it is and therefore why should we take actions as long as it's uncertain